In this video, I'm going to talk about just some common metric prefixes. Some of these you've seen before, such as kilo and centi, like centimeters or kilograms. So let's start off with nano. Nano, its prefix or its symbol is an N. So for example, nanosecond or nanometer, it'll be NS or NM. And really what it means is, it means divide by a billion. Okay, so uh, one, one nanometer is actually uh, one divided by a, a billion uh, or a billionth of a meter. Okay, uh, and in blue here, I've written what it what what what, what it is and uh, what what the number in green is uh, using scientific notation. Okay, so dividing by a billion is the same as multiplying by ten to the power of negative nine. Okay, uh, micro really is divide by a million. Okay, so or or, or it's a millionth. Okay, and that's the same as uh, multiplying by ten to the negative six. Uh, milli is divide by a thousand. Okay, so it means a thousandth. Okay, so if you think of say for example millimeters, there are a thousand millimeters in a meter. Okay, so uh, milli just means a thousandth. Okay, centi is a hundredth. Okay, there are a hundred centimeters in a meter. So a meter is divided into a hundred of these centimeters. Now notice that with kilo, mega, and giga, instead of being a division, it's a multiplication. So kilo means a thousand of. Okay or times a thousand. So uh, kilogram just means a thousand grams. Okay, Three kilograms means three thousand grams or three lots of a thousand grams. Okay, Mega means uh, a million or a million of. Okay, So they're starting to get large quantities. Uh, and giga is a billion of. Okay, So you can see that nano and giga uh, are very similar to each other. The same number in green instead, uh, instead of a, a division it's a multiplication. Instead of times 10 to the negative 9, it's times just 10 to the 9 with a, with a positive. Okay? Same thing with micro and mega. Uh, micro okay, times 10 to the negative 6. Mega times 10 to the 6. Notice also that, that uh, mega and giga use capital letters. Okay? For some strange reason, kilo is still a lowercase k. Okay? So I'll just make sure I emphasize that. Uh, okay. Yep. Uh, and I think partly the reason for that, or perhaps might be that the, the, the symbol for temperature measured in Kelvin is a capital K. So sometimes uh, the, the, the letters used somewhere else, and so they, they, it's, a, you know, it's, I guess, convention or just to ensure that you know, there's, there's no uh, ambiguity um, or no confusion, we may, they may just resort to, um, you know, we may just resort to using a, a different case letter. Uh, centi, milli, and nano, or lowercase, of course. Micro, okay. Micro is the Greek letter, Greek letter, or uh, well, the Greek letter M, the lowercase M, of course. Um, uh, and notice why? Why would they use micro? So why would they use that symbol? Because it's already taken up with milli. Milli is already a lowercase M. Uh, micro and milli both begin with M, so you know. I guess it was uh, you know one way to differentiate between the two. Uh, sometimes Greek um, Greek letters are used. Okay, so they're the basic metric prefixes. Uh, good to know these, or n just note these ones down. There are others, of course. So um, giga, for example. There's also tera, like terabyte, um, for example. The size of a hard drive could be one terabyte, two terabytes, for example. Um, and there are also uh, units that are in between these, uh, for example. One of them that I haven't mentioned is deci, uh, which is uh, actually I might just write that here. Okay. And it's actually uh, a lowercase uh, d, okay. And it's divided by uh, to division by t by ten, so it's a, a tenth, okay. And it's in scientific notation uh, that would be times ten to the negative one. So deci, decimeter, decibel, okay. So there are others, but I've just stuck to basically the basic uh, or, or the more common uh, metric prefixes.